Hey, howdy, hey, my name's Astrovex. How you guys doing? And I'm here to teach you about Bias Effects. Bias Effects is a new kind of guitar modeling software that allows you to replicate lots of guitar tones and sounds and mimic lots of analog pedals. I don't even use my pedal anymore, okay? I don't even use that anymore. I don't even use my amp. This has just been, I've been using nothing but Bias Effects for the last few months, actually. So if you've been reading into this sort of stuff and like, what is Bias Effects? We're gonna go over that and how you can get set up. And if you're interested, where to start. First things first, you're gonna need a guitar and you're gonna find some way to plug your guitar a signal and your audio into your computer. Obviously you're gonna need stuff like um, a digital workspace so you can use something like Pro Tools, you can use Reaper, you can use Cubase, Logic, anything like that that will go straight into Bias Effects but there is a standalone version if you just want to riff up and have some fun. You're gonna need an audio interface like as you saw at the beginning of the video I have a small little Focusrite two-channel preamp interface and that allows you to plug my guitar cable into this little box that I have that goes into USB into the computer. And for output, you can either use headphones or you can go into some big sort of speaker monitors and obviously you need more cables for that. I'll leave some links down in the description where you can get some really good ones. So once you've got those things set up and you've got your preamp and your cables and those sort of things all sorted out, you can try out the demo of BiasFX on the Positive Grid website. I'll leave that down in the description as well. So right now we're just gonna go through the interface and what BiasFX looks like when you first open it up. So right now it kind of looks like this. It's very simple. The layout's very simple to get through. Obviously you've got different kinds of pedals, an amp, and it shows whatever one you're selected on what it does. So if you click on the boost one, it shows the boost. Look at the distortion pedal, it shows the distortion pedal. So it's kind of like when you got them all laid out at your feet. It's really cool. This is a preset that I'm using at the moment. It's just called In Your Face Lead. And it's just based on just a simple, very simple setup of just a few pedals and an amp. It's not like some sort of crazy processing rack or whatever. I'm a very simple guitarist. I don't need a lot of crazy effects or anything like that. So just to give you an example of what I mean, we have... So, yeah, that's surprising. <laughs> And the cool thing is, say like you can tweak the, the gain and you can tweak the bass just as if you was tweaking them in your little studio, you just do it with a mouse and a screen. Which is very, it's very intuitive, it feels very responsive, there's no latency on anything. So it's got some very good things to say. It's also got um, a noise gate for built-in in sound, you got a built-in tuner. Let's check I'm in tune. Yep, so you can do that sort of stuff over there. I think that's really cool. So when you first open up Bias Effects, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the factory rock sound and it's called Arsenal. And the good thing about this, this will allow you to play pretty much every classic rock riff you can think of, you know. You know, you can do that, so that's pretty cool. And obviously you can go... You know, so it gives you that flexibility to just, out of the box, well, out of the digital box, that you can just go straight into... A very cool feature that I love about Bias Effects, and it's one of the reasons I wanted to get it, was this thing called the, the cloud. And you can have presets, that, it's kind of like YouTube when you look for videos, but it's just with guitar sounds. So we'll go in here now, see so you got the most popular ones at the moment. Got the latest sounds in here as well. So there's certain ones you want to look for. So say I, I just searched now for Joe Satriani, I could find something that sounds similar to Joe Satriani, like his sort of approach and his sort of pedals and how he works. You can preview that then. It says stop in the corner, but you can try it for a little while at least. I really like that one. So that was one I could keep and then put that in the cloud later on. You can even change the layout if you want to so it looks a bit more bigger and a bit more streamlined if you just want to have ones you turn up like you. I doubt you can, you can still turn the knobs in this one but it's really finicky, it's really small. You need a big monitor to be able to see these. But just having them laid out like this is nice or you can just click back in the corner again and have it like this. I prefer it this way because I have more control. So we have this one I called Prochucci Jesus which is um, John Prochucci from Dream Theater. And what I like about this is that you can change the two amps that are, so I have a tread plate based on a, a, a Mesa Boogie, and this one is based on a 5150, obviously. So if I wanted to change this one, 
and I liked the attributes of one amp, but I wanted them to go into another. Just double click that one now, and it gives me all these other amps to choose from. And these different, you know, acoustic ones, a high gain one. We'll put, we'll, keep, we'll stick with the um, insane 5153, because I like that one. And you can change EQs and delays. You go into reverb. Oh, there's a spring reverb. Oh, I want to change it to a stereo reverb. Oh, I got like, what have we got in here? Chorus? I can change that modulation to be tremolo. I can make it an octavator. I can make it, you know, make it sound crazy. I'm <laughs> That sounds really big! And as you can see in the corner over here now, we have a Steve Vai one. And Steve Vai is one of my favorite guitars, and I've always wanted to try and mimic his tone. And now I've actually been able to do that pretty closely with just some, like, some very simple software that didn't cost... And so on and so forth, you get the idea. But with this one inside now, I can still tweak all the parameters of these. I can add more distortion, I can add a different kind of amp. This gives you total flexibility in absolutely every approach of it. Here's another one that I made just called Echoes, and it's got a very sort of Devin Townsend clean approach where the echoes go on forever and ever. So it's not just for rock sound, it can be for blues, it can be for clean stuff, it can be for ambience, it can be for a lot of things. So we can just go... Or you can just go full shred, you know, that's the fun stuff. If you are interested in getting this software, I'll leave a link in the description of where um, Biosfex demo is, and that will be on the Positive Grid website. It's a free demo. If you want to try it out, then you can upgrade to having the basic package like I've got. And if you want to go even further and have over 70 different kinds of effects and amps and pedals and racks and studio monitors and preamps, just you can get the full crazy package. I'm going to save up for that as well. So if you're right now, you can just I recommend you just download the demo once you've got your equipment ready and just go for it. Just get the sound that you want and just, just rock, dude! Just so with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you really liked it, I guess you could comment or subscribe or share with all your friends. So that was that. My name's Astrobex, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye!